pericardial thickening in constrictive pericarditis can be seen on echocardiography or better on CT thorax. Yet, demonstration of constrictive physiology requires cardiac catheterization, which will show the specific pressure patterns like the square root sign, which is also known as dip and plateau sign. Pressures in all cardiac chambers, that is diastolic pressure equalization occurs in chronic constrictive pericarditis and diastolic pressures are elevated. This will be transmitted to the pulmonary venous pressure and systemic venous pressure which are also equal to the elevated diastolic pressures in all four cardiac chambers. This is the square root sign or dip and plateau sign which occurs in ventricular pressure tasing, mostly in the right ventricle in chronic constrictive pericarditis. The pericardial volume is restrained by the thickening and calcification so that the total cardiac volume is fixed. It cannot expand beyond a particular limit. As in the beginning of diastole, the ventricles are collapsed after a systole, there is no restraint and venous pressures are high. So there is a rapid filling of the ventricle in early diastole which causes the dip. When the ventricles relax, there is a rapid dip in ventricular diastolic pressure which causes dip. And after filling a little, pericardial constraint sets in. This causes abrupt rise in diastolic pressure which plateaus off. There is hardly any filling in mid and late diastole which causes the plateau. So dip and plateau sign is because of the severe pericardial restraint in chronic constrictive pericarditis. There is no restriction in early diastole because total cardiac volume is low as ventricles have emptied in systole. So a rapid fall in ventricular diastolic pressures occurs and then as soon as filling the rapid gush of blood from the venous side to the ventricular cavity occurs, there is a rapid rise in ventricular diastolic pressures and then quickly it plateaus off. That is the reason for the dip and plateau sign or square root sign in chronic constrictive pericarditis seen on cardiac catheterization in ventricular pressure tracing.